What's going on, guys? And, uh, well, I did not mean to hit the save owl, but, like, yeah, welcome back to more Majora's Mask in the uh, last part. Uh, we only took part of, care of part of Pirate's Fortress. In this part, we're gonna do some, uh, things we want, we were supposed to do on the uh, night of the first day, but this part, we're gonna drop the egg we did get after getting the hook shot. There are seven of these eggs in total. So yeah, basically, uh, just, I just gotta say it right off the bat, there are seven eggs in total, and the game even says it, like, so like, yeah, it's like, how can you possibly think there are four eggs, it's like, um, I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're gonna do a few things, and, uh, we're actually gonna do a- we're actually- now that we have the hook shot, we're actually gonna tackle a- we're gonna get one- do one side quest because we don't actually have to do uh, the Romani stuff yet, and that's until 2 a.m. So we have time to take care of a little bit of stuff. So, uh, why don't we actually uh, hook shot our way- See, the problem is the like likes, um, if you- you're, these are what you encounter at night, and like, um, they make you lose your shield, and you have to basically attack them to get back. So let's see if we can if we can hook our way up that tree. I think we need to be in a different angle. Oh, I think I can stun these. No, my shield's gone. Can I get my shield back, please? Alright, I got it back. The good news is, I got the shield back, so, uh... <laughs> let's hope that doesn't happen again. We just gotta hook shot right up that tree. Not get swallowed by a like like. Like likes, I think, have to be the most annoying enemies in Zelda games, only rivaled by wall masters. Okay, that's not how you do it. That isn't either. I gotta go closer. This hook shot range is basically like the long shot in Ocarina of Time, so you don't have to get two hook shots. Hold on, what's in the chest? One of your bees. Pretty nice. So we just gotta finally get our hook shot up that tree. Except I think I'm too cl I'm too far away. Yeah. Once we're all the way up here, we can put on our Zora mask first off, and uh, we're in the Waterfall Rapids. Now, normally this would be playing the uh, Zora's Domain music, except it's nighttime, so I don't normally go here at night. We t if we target him. Except that ever, we're Azora, and I don't know how breathe how beavers can breathe underwater. Maybe Wyona's big brown beaver can breathe underwater, I don't know. Less Claypool reference out of the way. You again, you can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. Coo -coo -coo. Oh, okay, I'll give you one, but... Only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. Do you want to try? Yeah, sure. There's a total of 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order for it to count. Swim through the rings that's flashing. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. So yeah, we got through all these rings. We should do this side quest twice for 100% purposes. Because, like, you can just get the ball and clear with that, but if you're doing 100%, you have to do this twice. So, uh... And, uh, yeah, so, like, uh, you do this, like, we do this a total of four times, I think, if you want to do 100%. So, yeah, we're basically going through rings, so, uh, yeah, I'd make a Superman 64 reference, but I'm pretty sure somebody already has on YouTube. Superman 64 is a fucking trash game, like, I played it when I was a kid, 
because like me and my cousins used to run N64 games at like a Blockbuster when that was around. <laughs> and like, I went through a Superman phase like as a kid and I around that time rented Superman 64 and like even as a kid I knew that game was trash. And then years later I saw the AVGN review I was like, oh my god, I played this game before. Yeah, they give you plenty of time to go through these rings on, like, fucking Superman 64. Don't ask me to play Superman 64 on this channel. I've never beaten that game. When just flying through rings gets bad, it gets much worse later in the game. You can call me, little brother. I called you, big brother. Actually, what an empty bottle. Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. Do you have empty bottles are a treasure? I can't give you just one because you're being a little brother. We well, can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once more against me. So we try, yeah, sure. 25 rings this time. So yeah, I will speed up the footage this time, so I'll see you guys in a second. He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. There's a mess, big brother. We get the empty ball, which will help us drastically in our second trip to the Pirate Fortress. However, we get a second item if we go there again. So we're gonna have to endure this a third time. If we if we leave and go back, actually, I think they'll be upper in the upper area. So yeah, if you if we talk to these guys a third time. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any big brother. If we say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? I'll race. Put jumps on my little brother this time. The limit is 150. Don't fall behind. I'll speed up the footage. The big girl again. So, yes, now it's four times we have to do this. But it's very rewarding if you're a completionist like I am. So, if you have the footage. seconds to spare also so now we got that of our system we get a piece of heart for all that if we do this a total of four times so uh yeah so uh 
Not really much we have left to do in uh, Great Big Coast, at least for now. Uh, we can take a set to the Pilot's Fortress, except I want to do something a little different. I want to go back to the Akana Graveyard, because we we were going to be... I said we have to go there on the night of the first day for plot purposes. So, uh, we're going to sort of clock down, we're going to go to the, uh... And we are going to go to the, uh... A kind of graveyard on the uh, night of the first day. So, uh, I guess I can cut till I see you there, but, uh, guess what I can do instead? Yeah, go on, Mask. It'll be there for you. We'll be there for you know it. It's just the power of the go on, Mask. It even becomes less if you don't really need it as much at later points. Now we're gonna, we're gonna call, well, first of all, we're gonna call our horse. I love this song on the bongos, by the way. Anyway, so, uh, take off the Goron mask. How did the opponent end up here? I'm not complaining. Also, be very careful with these enemies at night, because, uh, there'll, there'll be, uh, bubbles, and, um... Let's just say, if they hit you, you become jinxed, and you can't use your sword. We're not going to go back to Pirate's Fortress until they have the shit with Romani taken care of, so, uh... Yeah, so, uh... I guess this will be one note to end the part on, so, uh... Hold on. No, no, no. Don't jinx me. Okay, I'm not jinxed. We learn a song... We're going to learn a song eventually that's going to make us become unjinxed. Now that we're at the Econo Graveyard, we also have to put on the Captain's Hat. Now, there are three different... There's different things that can happen when we go here at night. This is the thing that we, happens on the night of the first day. I'm gonna speak to him. I wanna speak to him. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna give this Captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir. As per your orders, we can guard these graves. We have been all been thinking of your order, sir, so we need to open the grave. Open it. Yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. Anyway, so we're gonna go down here. We're beneath the graveyard. I think we need the fire arrows equipped, but I could be wrong. All right, we got arrows, no magic, though. You want an idea? I got an idea. Didn't mean to read its description, huh? So I can... In peace. Come at me, come at me, come at me, come at me. Yeah. Where is the next one? Come at me, come at me, look, come at me, yeah. Come at me, you keys. And what do we get for all that? Just a chest. Lame. I'll see 50 rupees, that's not lame. We're gonna, um, we're gonna get, we're basically gonna light these torches with the fire arrows. What? I'm playing, uh, this game just got re-released on the Switch as I'm recording this. It's, um, it's uh, Oracle of Seasons, and, uh, I've actually been playing a little bit of it. It's, um, I've actually never played that game before. It's actually a really solid game. I will say, though, I'm awful at 2D Zelda, because, like, maneuvering and that shit, but, like, uh, yeah, it is a pretty solid game. Also, one of those fun facts about these Iron Knuckles... I didn't, I forgot to show it, but like um, if you look at if you look at these iron knuckles from close up, you will see Naburu from Ocarina of Time. So yeah, little, nice little Easter egg right there. I think it's the same thing in Ocarina too. So yeah. Look at the the curtains are gonna open. You're the one who freed my soul. <laughs> it's 
disturb the O'Connor royal family. I'm the composer called Flat. The song sang to the royal family and remain here royal composed my brother and I. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You know who do not fear the dead. Learn well the song and subscribe behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops sung by my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I've made my request. Anyway, so if we read the grave. A thousand years of raindrops, so it's the same thing. Here's written the song that shall cleanse his cursed black soul. Remember the song of storms. That's actually the last of the song. That's actually the last of the normal songs we can learn. We only have two Ocarina songs left to learn. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna cut it off for this part of uh, Majora's Mask. So uh, I'll I'll cut it once we uh, get out of here. But like uh, once we get out of here, I'll say uh, maybe we won't go back to Pirate's Fortress. But like um. I'll say next time on Majora's Mask, we we need to get our ocarina. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we are going to be going to none other than... We're going to go to Milk Road and fulfill the promise we had with uh, Romani. So, uh, see you guys next time.